Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Diecast Dynasty. It's Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. I hope you guys are having a good week. And when I mean you, I mean you and you and you and you. Anyways, let's get started, shall we? Today's car was again provided by my wife. She's been my biggest supporter. And I need my brother and my friends to start pitching in. Anyways, let's go. Hello, tissue paper. Goodbye, tissue paper. Ooh. What have we got here? Land Crusher from Hot Wheels Off-Road. It looks like a trophy truck. And I like it. I especially like that these lights resemble the brand new Toyota 4Runners. Coincidence? I think not. Let's get started. Now, man. That didn't go as planned. <sighs> All right. Boo. Oh, all right. Very nice. Very cool. All right, so we got an orange plastic trophy truck that's got some pretty cool coilovers that are springing, get it, from the hood. Uh, we've got an interior. We've got nice little bucket seats with the racing harnesses in there. We've got good decals. The paint looks really good. We've got spare tires in the back. Detail on the hood, on the roof, a scratch. Wonder where that came from. Doesn't matter. And ah, right here, looks like it says LC for Land Crusher. I see what you did there. All right, very cool. Um. I'm ready to put this guy out there on the dirt and see how awesome he can be. On per usual, we're going to go with our pre-workout weigh-in. And uh, I'm going to give you a second. I learned my lesson the last time. Okay, you sure? All right. Looks like we're at 29 grams. Are you sure? Oh, 30 grams. Why are you 29? What is it going to be? My official weigh-in. <laughs> We're, we're going to put it at 29 and a half, shall we? That seems about fair since you can't make up your mind, Taylor. All right, let's go. Oh man, that was sweet. You almost lost it there at the end though. But uh, other than that, that was a lot of cool action. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with the rating. Alright, so when it comes to rating, I'd like to do something a little bit different now. I've come to realize that the Osmo meter is pretty ineffective at conveying a real rating of any of these cars. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to a number scale, uh, 1 through 10, where 1 is the lowest and 10 is the highest. And we'll take all the things into consideration, such as the paint job, the interior, all the details, and of course, the selection, the choice of tires and wheels. So, for Land Crusher, I am going to go ahead and give this car an 8.5 out of 10. And I'm going to give it that score because... It did almost everything right. I mean, this car's got the details, the right colors, the interior. We've got a light bar. The little LC right there is a really cool little feature. Um, this car is ready to roll. The only problem I have is the tires and, and why I can't have some more treads on there. I would, I'd really, really like to see that. So that is why it gets an 8.5. This car could have easily got a 9.5. 
which is near perfect. But that's all right. We'll move on. All right. So today's car was Land Crusher from the Hot Wheels Off-Road set. It weighed in at 30, or was it 29? 30? 20? Anyways, uh, it weighed in at about 29 and a half. That's the, uh, the agreement that I had with Taylor. So uh, it got an 8.5 out of 10 only because of these wheels. Other than that, this car was amazing. It looked great. It, it did some cool stuff, and uh, I'm really happy with it. I recommend it. All right. Well, that does it for today's show, Wednesday. Uh, I look forward to Friday. Hope you guys have a good Thursday tomorrow. Take it easy. Be safe out there so you can tune in on Friday, all right? Don't forget to subscribe, like, follow me. Do whatever you got to do. All my, all my information's in the credits. Get to it. Have a good tomorrow. I'll see you Friday. Thanks for watching.